Video game designer is catching heat over his latest creation. The STM is threatening legal action against him for copying a metro station a little too closely. Emily Brass explains. The game is called Counter-Strike Global Offensive. The main character is an anti-terrorist agent hunting down suspects. Some players design new levels of the game to share online. And a local designer is in hot water over his version, which features an exact replica of the Beru Cam metro station. The SDM sent him a cease and desist letter saying his creation is a copyright violation. They told me that they were concerned about uh, terrorism on the metro and people having uh, ide bad ideas about shooting people on the metro. And when I told when I told them that that was that was a little crazy because I'm not responsible with a video game of what the people would, will do. Uh, then they told me that there's a copyright. But does a public transit agency really own the copyright to a metro station? A local expert says the answer is a little complicated. While architectural plans can be protected by copyright, Liatis's motivation for using them could get him off the hook. It really goes down to the exact context of what he wants to do with his new creation. If it's completely non-profit and this is just somebody doing this for, for fun, there's a new exception that could be applied. Introduced in November, the new user-generated content exception could benefit Liatis. But either way, a copyright case can develop into a long legal battle, a battle he hopes to avoid by convincing the STM to work with him. It's not the final release. They have, they still have the time to tell me, well, you know, just take this out and change this. So I, I still don't understand why they, they react like that, you know. After repeated attempts to contact the SDM, the company refused to comment. Emily Brass, CBC News, Montreal. Just as a compliment to the newscast, I wanted to show you how to find the Copyright Act and to read the new exception granted to you under user-generated content for copyright. So I'm, I'm showing you here how to go to the Canly website, which provides access to all of the federal and provincial laws, as well as recent court cases that you can read for free. And uh, once you go to the Copyright Act, you want to read Article 29.21. And here you have the text that explains how the user-generated content exception works and essentially if you're doing it as a non-profit activity uh, if you're not hurting the commercial uh, exploitation the regular way people make money off of their copyrighted work and you're just you know do hosting it on uh, an uh, intermediary website such as your favorite video sharing uh, website then you're allowed to pull uh, content that is protected by copyright and use it in new and exciting ways so I just wanted to show you how to get to the article and read it to see if it applies to you thank you